guys, today I want to talk to you about hitting cross court versus hitting down the line. Now hitting down the line is the most common tactical error that recreational players make and tennis is a game of errors and you win matches by, by playing the percentages and letting your opponents commit more errors. Going down the line is certainly not playing the percentages and in this video tip I want to show you several reasons why hitting down the line is so problematic. Now overall you still want to play aggressive percentage tennis. This is not a tip to tell you to play it safe all the time, but you want to play aggressive percentage tennis. All right, let's go on to the first reason why hitting down the line is problematic. Now we're going to look at a typical situation here. Um, imagine that you're the player at the bottom and your opponent is at the top and your opponent hits a cross court shot into your corner and you decide to hit the ball down the line. Now when you hit down the line your opponent afterwards has, um, has the opportunity to either hit a short cross court angle with his backhand if he's right handed or to go back down the line. And what you need to do is you need to recover to the midpoint between those two possible shots, the most extreme shots that your opponent can reliably hit. And so in this case um, we can see the midpoint right here and this is basically a very long distance for me to recover from the point where I'm at right now to get to the optimal recovery position. And that's why hitting down the line is so problematic. So now let's have a look at the scenario where I decide to go back cross court instead of down the line. So my opponent hits cross court, I hit back cross court and uh, now again my opponent has the opportunity to either go down the line or to hit a short cross court angle. These are the two most extreme cases and I have to recover to the midpoint between these two shots. And as you can already see here, this midpoint is much closer to the position that I'm at when I'm hitting my uh, shot from the corner here. So that's why it's so much easier to recover and to get back to the optimal recovery position when you hit cross court. And as you can see here, we have a comparison between the down the line and cross court recovery points. And as you can see, the difference is quite large. The recovery point for the cross court shot is very close to where I was at and the other one is very far away. And that's the number one reason why going down the line is usually problematic. Now the next reason why hitting down the line is uh, oftentimes problematic is that the optimal target area when going down the line is much smaller than uh, when you're going cross court. Now what exactly do I mean by that? What I mean is when you hit down the line you really have to hit a good shot meaning that it needs to be deep and offensive or otherwise you will be in big trouble. Um, as you can see right here, if I hit my ball short to this spot, um, that really opens up the court because now my opponent is inside the baseline. He has a big angle to work with to um, go cross court and he can really open up the court and that makes uh, my recovery position even worse. So now I have a lot of space to cover and I have a recovery position that is far away for me to get into. So in this situation when you go down the line and you end up hitting a weak shot that usually ends up in a lost point for you. Now when I hit cross court on the other hand um, the area that I can hit into and be fine afterwards is much bigger. Uh, if I leave the ball a little bit short on my cross court shot I should still be fine for the next shot because my um, optimal recovery position is so close and I have a really good chance of getting into my optimal recovery position in time before my opponent hits the shot. And then I should still be alright in order to cover the court for the next shot. So what this basically means is that when you hit down the line your margin for error is much smaller, you have a smaller target for the optimal area and you have to be much more precise in order to um, make it worth your while to hit down the line. Okay, the next reason why hitting cross court is usually safer is the fact that um, the distance for a cross court shot is longer. 
Now, as you can see here, the distance for the cross court shot is about 82.5 feet from baseline to baseline and 78 feet for a down the line shot. Now, what this really means is that you have less time to recover to your optimal position after a down the line shot because the ball will be in the air for a shorter period of time. And that again makes it safer to go cross court. All right, so next, the fourth reason why I'm hitting down the line is oftentimes problematic is the fact that there's a natural tendency to miss shots wide when you go down the line. And this is because of a very simple physics concept. Now, if the ball is coming in at an angle into your racket, it will naturally tend to come out at an angle. So the incoming angle equals the outcoming angle. You have to compensate for this um, tendency with your racket and that is very difficult to do and to time. And that's why players will so often miss wide in the doubles alley. And when you hit cross court that's not the case and it's much safer to hit cross court therefore. Okay, so now the last reason why hitting cross court is usually safer and hitting down the line can oftentimes be problematic. And that reason is the fact that the net is higher when you hit down the line. And this is a very simple concept that I'm sure most of you guys are aware of. But players have a tendency to miss in the net too much anyway. So the chances of missing in the net increase a lot when you're hitting down the line. As you can see here, the net is roughly three feet. Um, when you go cross court and it is 3.6 feet when you go down the line. So let's look at a summary of what we just talked about. Basically there are five reasons why hitting down the line is dangerous and why hitting cross court is usually the smarter option. Number one, it is more difficult to cover the court after a down the line shot. You have a much larger distance to cover to get to your optimal recovery position and that makes hitting down the line much more dangerous. Number two, the optimal target area is smaller. And what I mean by that is when you go down the line, you have to hit a really good shot. You can't really get away with leaving it short and a little bit weak. Whereas on the other hand, if you hit cross court, you can get away with that much more easily because you're closer to your optimal recovery position. And uh, number three, the distance for that the ball is in the air for a down the line shot is shorter. And that again means that the ball is in the air for a shorter period of time and that gives you less time to get to your optimal recovery position. And reason number four, um, the incoming angle of the ball naturally equals the outgoing angle and that basically means if the ball is coming in cross court into your racket there will be a natural tendency for the ball to go out cross court the other way and that means you will have a natural tendency to miss shots wide into the doubles alley. You have to counter that, compensate, and that's difficult to coordinate and uh, therefore you have a much higher risk of missing shots wide. All right, and reason number five, the um, net is higher when you go down the line. I'm sure most of you guys are aware of that, but since there is a natural tendency for players to miss in the net too much anyways, this is something that's um, very important and that you should keep in mind as well. You have a natural tendency to miss in the net anyways. The net is higher going down the line. Therefore, it makes a lot of sense to hit cross court and that's a safer option. All right, so much for the uh, five reasons why hitting down the line is usually dangerous. Now, I highly recommend you keep these in mind and you go out in the court with the intention to play high percentage aggressive tennis you have to be very picky about when to go down the line. Obviously, you're gonna hit down the line shots, but be very picky about it and try to hit mostly cross court.